really, you don't start rehearsing Richard III unless you have a Richard III that you can work with. Unless you have an amazing actor playing the character. I think Greg is just fantastic to, to show the complexity of the character. If it's not cut, Richard III plays to, I think, just under four hours. Yeah. Uh, Second longest Shakespeare play after, after Hamlet. After Hamlet. Yeah. So uh, it's quite long. Mehmet was quite keen for this version to be pacey. So we were tasked with cutting the play and editing the version that's spoken in this production. It's a tricky one to adapt because it's the end of a, of a four-play cycle. So you've got a huge amount of history and that history is what gives it the richness. It's so many amazing themes come from that of grief, of war, power. I mean, it's all in there. You want to keep that texture but somehow intensify it by bringing it down rather than cutting out what makes the play so amazing. Amazing play, amazing character. You know with a play like this, if it's not reaching the audience, it's your fault. It's not Shakespeare's. <laughs> we've reduced the number of actors, the number of uh, parts, in order to fit the fact that we've got a smaller cast. Sometimes that produces really interesting doubling and also really interesting merging of characters from Shakespeare's play. Um, so hopefully people that have seen Richard the uh, Third a number of times will find things that are interesting in this version. Um, but for people that haven't, I hope it will be uh, a very clear and gripping version that keeps you with it and it keeps you interested it's very exciting it's working for me already i hope it works for everyone mm -hmm.